Namaste, and welcome. Before we begin, take a moment to clear both nostrils. You may wish to pause this video now and perform three rounds of Surya Namaskara, Sun Salutations which is an excellent means for opening both nostrils evenly. Begin by taking a few moments to create an atmosphere conducive for meditation. Reduce all distractions and come into a comfortable position by lying down on your back in Shavasana. Allow the arms and legs to remain a comfortable distance apart. With the palms of the hands facing upward. Release the physical body and switch your focus to the vital life force energy flowing within the breath. Become aware of the subtle dimension of vital energy within the breath. Feel your inner power animating both the breath as well as all physical and mental phenomenon. Listen. Become aware of the various sounds and noises in your environment. Interrupt your current thought patterns by listening intently to each and every sound. Your only thought is to listen. listening to the raw qualities of sound as if they were totally foreign to you. Listen. 
Listen to each sound as it arises, persists, and subsides. Now formulate your sankalpa, your intention for doing this practice. Put into a short, positive affirmation. If you don't have a sankalpa, you may use the following. I am now utilizing prana shakti to remove all pathogens from my body. I am now utilizing prana shakti to remove all pathogens from my body. I am now utilizing prana shakti to remove all pathogens from my body. Now awaken to the energetic dimension of your body. Experience your body as pure bioenergy. Experience the midday sun within the abdomen. Now feel a surge of electromagnetic bioenergy flowing from the right hand to the thumb, second finger, third, fourth, and fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, right wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side of the torso, waist, hip, thigh, back 
of the thigh. Right kneecap. Back of the knee. Right shin. Calf muscle. Ankle. Heel. Sole of the right foot. Top of the foot. Right big toe. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth toe. The whole right side of the body. Now bring your awareness to the left hand. A surge of bioenergy spreading from the left hand thumb to the second finger, third, fourth, and fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, left wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left side of the torso, waist, hip, thigh, back of the thigh, left kneecap, Back of the knee, left shin, calf muscle, left ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the foot. Left big toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth toe. The whole left side of the body. the top of the head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the space between the eyebrows, feel the pulse beating at the brow center. Right eyelid. Left eyelid. Right eye. Left eye, right ear, left ear, 
the nose, tip of the nose, upper lip, lower lip, the tongue, right cheek, left cheek, and the chin, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest muscle, left chest muscle, the sternum, abdomen, navel, pelvic floor, the whole right leg, whole left leg, both legs together. the whole right arm, whole left arm, both arms together, the back side of the body, buttocks, spinal column, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, and back of the head, the whole front side of the body, the abdomen, and chest, both the front and back sides of the body together. The whole body Experience your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your fingers and toes. Now, become aware of the breath. Observe the natural ebb and flow of each breath. Watch each and every incoming and outgoing breath without missing a single inhalation or exhalation.
bring your awareness to the breath at the nostrils. Feel the soothing sensation of air flowing in and out at the nostrils. Observe if the flow in one nostril is more dominant than the other. Now begin to willfully open both nostrils evenly using Analom Vilom, the practice of mentally alternating the breath between the nostrils in the following manner. Inhale right nostril, exhale left nostril, inhale left nostril, exhale right nostril. This is one round. Continue a total of three rounds and then willfully draw the breath in through both nostrils evenly and out through both nostrils evenly. Practice three rounds of alternate nostril breathing followed by one round of even nostril breathing. Continue at your own pace. mentally will both the right and left nostrils to remain open and the breath balanced between the two.
Now bring your awareness to Chittakash, the mental space in front of the closed eyes. Observe the inner screen of the mind and watch whatever might manifest with detached awareness. Now descend through inner space all the way to the pelvic floor. This is the location of the root chakra, Muladhara. Ascend up to the pubic bone. This is the trigger point for the sacral chakra, Swadhisthan, which is located directly back from the pubis at the coccyx. Ascend up to the navel. This is the trigger point for the solar plexus chakra, Manipura, located directly back from the navel in the spine. Move your awareness higher up to the sternum. This is the trigger point for the heart chakra on a hot, located directly back from the sternum in the spine. Now move your awareness up to the pit of the throat. This is the trigger point for the throat chakra, Vishuddhi, located directly back in the spine. And finally, move your awareness up to the brow center, Brumadya. This is the trigger point for the divine inner eye chakra, Agya, located directly back in the center of the head. Now come back to the inner space at Chittakash. Make yourself sensitive to the subtle, vital life force energy flowing within the breath. Feel the animating power of prana, the essence of the breath.
Now become aware of the Pancha Prana Vayu, the five vital winds flowing out from the abdomen with the inhalation and merging back into the abdomen with the exhalation. Heighten your awareness to the downward flowing force of apana, which flows from the navel downwards with the inhalation and then back up to the navel with the exhalation. Now experience the upward flowing force of prana, which flows from the navel up with the inhalation and then back down to the navel with the exhalation. Now experience the force of samana flowing outwards to the sides with the inhalation and back to the navel with the exhalation. Now experience the vital force of Udana twirling around the head and outer limbs with the inhalation and returning to the navel with the exhalation. And finally, there is the all-pervasive and omnipresent life force of Viana, which consolidates all the previous values into one united force with the inhalation and returning to the navel with the exhalation. Just witness these five prana values flowing out from and returning back to the solar plexus chakra 
Manipura. See and feel the five prana vayus flowing all at once, together, expanding outwards from the navel with the inhalation and contracting back to the navel with the exhalation. As you focus on the inhalation and exhalation, the energetic dimension of prana now becomes more real to you than matter. There is no more matter as such. Everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. Now drop the focus on pranavayu and develop awareness of the solar passage of Pingala Nadi, which is the conduit for prana shakti. Prana Nadi flows out the right side of Muladhara crossing Swadastan left, Manipura right, Anahat left, Vishuddhi right, and terminating into the right side of Agya. Now follow the pathway of Pingala Nadi back down, out the right side of Agya, Vishuddhi left, Anahat right, Manipura left, Swadastan right, and into the right side of Muladhara. Continue moving your awareness up and down Pingala Nadi until you can perceive this subtle pathway clearly in your mind's eye.
we will now move Prana Shakti up through Pingala Nadi all the way to Agya with the breath where the excess prana will first awaken Agya and then by doing so awaken Sushumna Nadi Bring your awareness back down to Muladhara and begin practicing Ujjayi Pranayam by gently contracting the glottis, the throat muscles surrounding the vocal cords, producing a very light hissing sound. This is to both magnify your awareness to prana as well as amplify the prana within the breath. Inhale with ujjayi, directing a stream of white light out the right side of Muladhara through Pingala Nadi crossing each chakra in its path to the brow center. Briefly hold the breath in at the brow center, allowing the prana to condense at agya. And then exhale only the breath awareness back down through Pingala to Muladhara keeping your focus at Agya. Continue sending prana through Pingala Nadi from Muladhara to Agya with the breath, feeling it build and pulsate at the brow center. If at any point you should feel light-headed, stop the practice and breathe normally while maintaining your focus at the brow center Brumadya. Now become aware of the tingling and pulsating vibrations of prana at the brow center. And check to see that both nostrils are open and flowing evenly. Inhale. 
if both nostrils are even. This suggests that Sashumna Nadi is active. Bring your awareness back down to Muladhara. However, this time willfully draw prana out from Muladhara with Ujjayi, directing it straight up through Sashumna in the core of the spine, piercing the chakras Swadastan, Manipura, Anahat, Vishuddhi, and ascending into Agya. Hold, allowing all the prana to remain at Agya, and then keep your focus at Agya while the breath and awareness descends back down Sashumna to Muladhara with the exhalation. Prana is moved up through Sashumna to Agya with the inhalation and only the awareness is returned with the breath to Muladhara. Continue coordinating the breath, awareness, and movement of prana up from Muladhara to Agya. You are now moving prana up Sashumna Nadi, allowing it to build at Agya Chakra. Retaining the prana at Agya throughout the exhalation is much like holding your thumb over a straw full of water to keep it from falling back down. Only here, it is your focus placed at Agya that retains the prana. At this point, there are two things focus, and awareness. Focus on the prana at Agya and awareness moving with the breath, delivering prana from Muladhara to Agya. The focus remains at Agya, keeping the prana contained, while the awareness descends through the spinal passage with the exhalation. Inhale, delivering prana to Agya, 
briefly hold in. Exhale, returning to Muladhara to gather more. You may notice the sensation of a light pressure or weight at the brow center or pulsating sensation. Inhale with Ujjayi, concentrating all the prana surrounding Agya to a single point. Exhale, focusing at Agya as the prana condenses. Continue inhaling with Ujjayi, concentrating the prana to a single point at Agya. Now switch your awareness to the body part to be healed, or if you wish to heal your entire body or bloodstream, visualize the veins and arteries flowing all the way to your fingers and toes. Inhale with Ujjayi. Sending prana to either the body part or the fingers and toes. Seeing and feeling the pathway that prana naturally takes. Do not hold the breath in, but rather exhale, returning the breath and awareness immediately back to Agya. Inhale with Ujjayi, sending prana through the healing nadi to strike against its destination. And exhale, returning the awareness to Agya, preparing to gather more prana.
Now muster your willpower and direct a full surge of prana shakti through the nadis by inhaling deep with ujjayi, witnessing the prana shakti like streaks of lightning bolts emitting from agya and striking the body part, veins, and arteries, avoiding the heart, bringing healing and eliminating all harmful foreign bodies. Do not hold the breath in after the inhalation. Just exhale back to Agya, ready to gather and direct another surge of prana. Prana remains based at Agya while striking out through the nadis like lightning descending from the sky, eradicating all invasive pathogens during the inhalation. purifying the entire cardiovascular system and every cell throughout your body. Inhale, sending a bolt of prana shakti, electrocuting and completely annihilating all pathogens throughout your body. And exhale back to Agya. Continue sending bolts of lightning and laser beams of prana, either locally or through the entire cardiovascular system, avoiding sending prana directly to the physical heart. Inhale with Ujjayi while focusing on the fingers and toes, seeing prana actually spark outwards like fireworks during the inhalation. At the direction of your willpower, Prana Shakti is now completely eliminating any and all harmful foreign bodies 
from your system and restoring perfect health. You are now completely ridding yourself of all pathogens by sending a current of electromagnetic bioenergy through every vein and every cell from Agya Chakra to the tips of your fingers and toes with each inhalation. Inhale deep with Ujjayi, making surgical incisions with razor-sharp laser beams of Prana Shakti emitting from Agya Chakra. Witness the Prana Shakti annihilating and eliminating every last malefic microorganism throughout every cell of your body. Now purifying your blood and revitalizing the molecular structure of every cell throughout your body. Now take this moment 
to consider yourself fully healed and restored to perfect health. We will now bathe the body in prana for a final purifying rinse. Inhale deep with ujjayi, sending a broad wave of pranic energy out from agya, pervading your entire body bathing each and every cell with healing prana and exhale back to agya. Inhale, flooding your entire body with pranic energy now returning every cell to optimal health. Continue sending wave after wave of prana throughout your entire body with the rhythm and pace of the natural breath. See every cell of your body now radiating with youthful, vibrant, and glowing health. Now begin returning the remaining prana at Agya back down to its source at Muladhara. Inhale deep with Ujjayi, focusing at the point of the brow center. Briefly hold the breath in, feeling the prana condense at Brumadya, and exhale maintaining focus at the brow center. Continue willfully concentrating all the remaining prana back to a single point 
at the brow center. Now send the prana at Agya back down through Sushumna to Muladhara with the inhalation. Inhale deep with Ujjayi, switching your focus down to Muladhara at the pelvic floor and watch a stream of pranic white light descending from Agya all the way to the root chakra, Muladhara. Briefly hold the breath in at Muladhara and then exhale, allowing only the breath awareness to ascend back up to Agya. Continue returning all prana back to Muladhara with each inhalation. Now willfully sponge up that last little bit of prana remaining at Agya with the inhalation as you simultaneously return it back down through Sushumna to Muladhara. Now all prana has been returned to its source. Now drop the focus on Muladhara Chakra, Sashumna Nadi, and Prana Shakti, and return your awareness to Chittakash. See a beautiful vision of yourself now in perfect health, completely rejuvenated and revitalized, full of joy. See a vision of yourself full of ecstasy and celebrating your state of perfect physical health.
again recall your sankalpa or you may use the following I have successfully utilized prana shakti to restore perfect health to my body I have successfully utilized prana shakti to restore perfect health to my body I have successfully utilized prana shakti to restore perfect health to my body Now return your awareness to the physical body lying in Shavasana and become aware of your immediate physical surroundings. Extrovert your senses and again listen to the various sounds feel the sensation of air on your skin and the pressure of your body against the floor. When you are ready, start with moving just a single finger at first. and then slowly and gently start making small circles with your ankles and wrists before stretching and moving your body and open your eyes to end this session. The practice of Prana Nidra is now complete. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti